Travis Wayne did so. As a kid, my peers in school would be very paranoid and demand that other peers, and oftentimes it was me, who were threatened to remain silent. That if we told teachers or an adult about I don't know what, as children, we would be doing to commit a crime, so it made no sense to me why the peers would be so paranoid that people would be telling on them, but uh, they used the word narc back in my day. Uh, over time, it's been called many other things, snitches, to another such rats. Rat used to be uh, before our time, as that was in the black and white days with one of the gangster movies. <coughs> and as uh, children, there are Places in the United States, even here in Utah, where children get preyed upon by adults uh, to commit crimes on behalf of the adults or often it's gangs. Because as children, they aren't tried as an adult. And so they get victimized for their youth. That too is a crime, but uh, it's one that's quite despicable to be so low as to get children to do your dirty work. When I went through the Boy Scout program, I had the uh, citizenship in the community, citizenship in the nation and citizenship in the world merit badges to work on. And so as an American, I knew and understood my loyalty was to the United States of America. And when I turned 19 and was preparing to go on a mission, going through the Los Angeles Temple. This was back in 1989, May 6th. It was in a big room, different than uh, other temples nowadays that have multiple rooms that uh, people can go in at different time frames. Los Angeles Temple was different, at least back then, unless they've remodeled it since, to add more rooms. <clears throat> and so it was a packed auditorium. There were other guys prepping for their missions as well. It was a special session for those going on their missions, and so families joined. So it was a packed house. And there were extra seats put in the aisles to handle the overflow. Uh, because the next session wasn't going to be for a while. And during the endowment session, it was already new and weird and awkward and intimidating as I'm being told that if I, I am not worthy that I should leave now before it begins. And I, How do you know uh, until after you go through it to find out?
back in 1989, it was still with the penalties. And so I did not understand the covenants as I was more concerned about why am I putting my thumb up to my neck and killing myself if I violate these covenants. That was extremely scary. And now, having gone multiple times to that temple, I now know the covenants. Though, returning home from my mission, the penalties were dropped. So I still know that there were penalties as the knife is still being used in the temple today. So when Russell M. Nelson gets up in general conference, as he's been talking about the covenant path this whole time, as he now tells Mormons to make firmer their foundation in those temple endowment priesthood covenants. It was very clear to me what Nelson was calling on Mormons to do. As an American citizen and as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we have Article of Faith number 12. Let me read it. I don't have it memorized. We believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, and magistrates in obeying, honoring, and sustaining the law. When authoritarian governments rule, we are instructed in the Doctrine and Covenants not to adhere to it. So, for example, in Nazi Germany, we had Mormons in Germany at the time. Those Mormons had a duty and a responsibility to disobey the Nazi German orders and to help in any way and means necessary to protect and preserve Jews. Moroni and the Swastika informs us that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints punished every Mormon who did their duty. Church has a long history of being an anti-government terrorist organization and criminal. In accordance with the just laws of America, we are duty-bound to report. And if you want to use the word narc, snitch, rat, whatever. You are duty bound to report criminal activity. Failure to do so when knowing that there is a crime in progress. Constitutes that same equal crime aiding and abetting. You can't be silent once you are a witness to a crime. You are duty-bound to report it 
you are duty bound to be a whistleblower. Secret combinations thrive on silencing people. As the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has their temple endowment priesthood covenants to silence Mormons. The one on sacrifice. Sacrifice your lives if necessary in sustaining and defending the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. With the penalty to murder yourself, kill yourself, for failure to do so. And there was Nelson over the pulpit of conference calling on Mormons to defend the church and sacrifice their lives while the church is committing crimes. Jesus is not our Christ. Reread the first vision if you have to. He doesn't call him Jesus, he calls him a son personage. And this personage tells Joseph Smith not to be Christian and tells him that the creeds, all that came from Constantine's creed, which created Jesus, are an abomination. The Book of Mormon uses Jesus and therefore it is not a real history because Joseph Smith is telling us so in the first vision. So something else is being told to us. Section 45 tells us that he's using code as he gives an example in section 45 of using code from sec or Matthew chapter 24. And so the prophets are not being ordered by Jesus to commit crimes that Mormons must sacrifice their lives for. Don't drink their Kool-Aid. Every single Mormon is involved with the criminal activity of tithing. We are all forced and extorted with the penalty of as part of a protection racket. A protection racket is where you are extorted, threatened, promised protection if you do them a favor though. And in this particular case tithing is being used with a promise for protection. It is not a membership membership fee. It is not a donation. If you chose not to give tithing to the church because you think it's a donation, you all know what happens to you. Your protection goes away. No more callings. Can't go to the temple to make covenants to kill yourself. It's also bad because children are being extorted at a young age to pay tithing. And it's through their parents who are being used to commit this act. This is a crime. Protection rackets are a crime. And 
And since every single Mormon is involved in this crime, they then are duty bound to whistle blow on the church, as I have already done. If the church would just stick with religion, there would be nothing to report. But I have witnessed the crime. And I am duty bound as an American citizen to report it. The place to provide this information is fbi.gov slash tips. There will be a blue highlighted online tips and public leads. It's in blue. You click on that. You have to agree to the terms and then fill out the form. You have to make sure that all of the essential things are filled in. <clears throat> and unfortunately here in Utah the FBI are compromised to the church. The federal judges are compromised to the church. The state and local leaders are compromised to the church. We all are witnesses to the crime in real time. We are all duty bound to our true God to keep the secret combinations out of our government. to stop corruption. Choose you this day whom you serve, because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a criminal organization.